In February 2013, the American Conference of Governmental Industrial Hygienists published a revised exposure limit called the Threshold Limit Value, or TLV, for manganese. The new TLV amounted to a tenfold reduction from the previous level. The TLV is not a regulatory requirement, but rather it's a guideline to assist in the practice of industrial hygiene and to help in the protection of workers. The ACGIH further tells us that the threshold limit values are developed as guidelines to assist in the control of health hazards. These recommendations or guidelines are intended for use in the practice of industrial hygiene to be interpreted and applied only by a person trained in the discipline. They go on to describe that the TLVs represent conditions under which the ACGIH believes that nearly all workers may be repeatedly exposed without adverse health effects and that they do not represent a fine line between safe and dangerous exposures. Welding processes produce the potential for airborne exposure to manganese as it can be found in the fume from most types of welding consumables. It is Lincoln Electric's policy to ensure that our employees' exposures do not exceed the TLV, and we are committed to helping customers who weld with our products to control their workplace exposures as well. For our final scenarios, we'll use our 1 16th inch Ultra Core FC309L stainless steel flux core with 100% CO2. This time, we'll take a look at both manganese and hexavalent chromium exposure potentials. In the first trials, of course, we'll use good ventilation and we'll keep all the variables and arc time consistent with the other trials. For the trial with the good exhaust ventilation practice, evaluating hexavalent chromium, we get a measured exposure of less than 0.1 micrograms per cubic meter versus the OSHA permissible exposure limit, or PEL, for hexavalent chromium of 5 micrograms per cubic meter, well under the limit. Next, using the same settings and good ventilation for evaluating manganese exposure, we can still see very good fume capture. Here we get an 8-hour time weighted average result of less than 0 0.002 milligrams per cubic meter of airborne manganese exposure. So again, very low compared to the new manganese ACGIH TLV of 0 0.02 milligrams per cubic meter. In the next group, we'll keep the variables the same while looking at partial or less than optimal ventilation, again for both hexavalent chromium and manganese. So here you can see inadequate collection of the welding fumes as far as keeping it out of the welder's breathing zone. This trial results in a hexavalent chromium exposure of 41 micrograms per cubic meter compared to the OSHA PEL of 5 micrograms per cubic meter. Repeating the trial with partial ventilation, this time evaluating for manganese, we get a measurement of an 8-hour time-weighted average exposure to airborne manganese of 0.55 milligrams per cubic meter, which is over 27 times the ACGIH TLV for manganese. And finally, let's look at two more trials, this time without any local exhaust ventilation. First, we'll see what exposure levels we measure for hexavalent chromium. Without exhaust ventilation, this trial indicated an exposure level to hexavalent chromium of 198 micrograms per cubic meter as compared to the PEL of 5 micrograms per cubic meter. This is almost 40 times over the PEL. So we're at a level where a typical negative pressure face sealing half face cartridge type respirator would not be adequate for protecting the welder. And lastly, testing for manganese exposure with the 309L flux core Without any local exhaust, we measured an 8-hour time-weighted average exposure of 0.98 milligrams per cubic meter compared to the ACGIH TLV of 0 0.02 milligrams per cubic meter, exceeding the TLV by almost 50 times. What may be of interest here is that even with stainless steel flux core, it is the manganese and not the hexavalent chromium which produces the higher exposure level as compared to its respective limit. If one is using the ACGIH TLV or the PEL, whichever is the more conservative, as the basis for their workplace exposure limit. Of course, without good local exhaust ventilation, as demonstrated in these latter stainless flux core trials, both manganese and hexavalent chromium exposures were not acceptable 
and would require additional workplace engineering and or administrative controls. In conclusion, compliance with the new manganese TLV will require careful testing and proper ventilation. Our tests show that good ventilation is critically important for minimizing exposure. You can use the visible fumes around the welder's mask as an indicator of inadequate ventilation and possible overexposure to manganese. Remember, our tests are meant to help establish a qualitative, non-empirical gauge for exposure. They cannot take the place of industrial hygiene testing in your actual welding areas under actual work conditions. As you continue to measure and reduce manganese exposures, please let us know if we can help or if any questions arise. We are committed to helping you provide a safe environment for all welders in your facility. Thank you for choosing Lincoln Electric for all your welding needs.